it's a sauce, it's an appetizer, it's a dip. Today, we're making the superhero of condiments, Romesco sauce. Hey guys, I'm Nikki Sizemore. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today we're kicking off my summer entertaining series with Spark Grills. I have partnered with Spark Grills to share my favorite recipes and tips for hosting a fuss-free but delicious barbecue. And we're gonna start with the appetizers and cocktails. So we're gonna make this grilled Romesco sauce. It is so versatile. I'm gonna share a million different ways you can serve it, but today we're gonna serve it over grilled crostini as an appetizer. I'm also going to show you how to make my favorite summer cocktail. So you definitely wanna stick around for that. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe below. That way you won't miss out on any of my wholesome, family-friendly and naturally gluten-free recipes. Before we start cooking, let's talk decor. So I've decked out my deck with some beautiful planters, but the table decor, that's just not my strong suit. So I visited my friend Marcella at the Parcel Flower Co. She gave me some great tips for decorating a table for an outdoor barbecue. We're doing family style, so okay. all these dishes around the table. Great, so then I would recommend doing something on the smaller side, maybe a couple bud vases down the length of the oh, table. I love that idea. A little pop of color, since you're not using as many elements, yes. to just give it that, that warmth and that fullness. That sounds wonderful. All right, let me get something together for you. Thank you. Let's get started on the romesco sauce. So romesco sauce is a Spanish sauce of charred tomatoes and peppers. There are a million different ways to make it, but I'm gonna show you my favorite version. It's gluten-free, and best of all, instead of having to heat up your kitchen, you can make it right on the grill. So I've got two sweet bell peppers and two plum tomatoes. I'm gonna drizzle these with some olive oil. And essentially, we're just gonna blacken these on the grill. If you don't have a grill, don't worry, I do include instructions on how to do this on the stovetop or in the oven in the recipe link below. All right, just coat these lightly. Those are ready to go. Now we're also going to grill up some bread to make crostini for the appetizer. So we can just do this all at the same time. So I've just sliced up a baguette here. This is a gluten-free baguette. I'm gonna brush it with olive oil on both sides and then season it with salt and pepper. People often don't season their crostini with salt and pepper, but it's really, it makes such a big difference in terms of flavor. All right, let's take these outside to the grill. So I'm using my Spark Grill today, which I'm kind of obsessed with. <laughs> it is so easy to use, it's so precise, it's just like an oven and you still get that charcoal smoky flavor, which I love. And best of all, instead of having to fuss with charcoal briquettes, you use these bricks. So I'm using a quick brick today just because we're just roasting the vegetables. All you do is open the drawer, pop the brick right in, and now we can preheat the grill. So you wanna set the grill to 600 degrees and we'll let that preheat. Arrange the peppers and tomatoes directly on the grill grates, positioning them in the center of the grill where it is the hottest. All right, cover and cook. You wanna turn them occasionally until they're blackened all over. It'll take about six to eight minutes for the tomatoes and 15 to 20 minutes for the peppers. The peppers look perfect and they smell so good. All that smoky char flavor is gonna make the romesco sauce delicious. Let those cool. And in the meantime, let's toast up some crostini. We're just gonna lay these all over the grill and let them cook uncovered just for a few minutes until they are toasted on the bottom and then we'll flip them over and let them cook on the other side. These look great. There's something about the smell of toasted bread. All right, so you wanna let the peppers and tomatoes cool a little bit. The nice thing about grilling them is that typically when you roast peppers, you want to cover them and let them steam. When you grill them, you don't even need to. So look at how easy that came off. Tomato skins, pop those right off. And then we're gonna cut the tomatoes in half because we wanna remove the seeds and the juices inside. We don't want them to water down the romesco sauce. You gotta get your hands dirty for this job. All right, now the peppers, we're just gonna peel off the skins. You do wanna make sure these cool a little bit because they're hot. 
Now don't go crazy. If you don't get all the skin off, it is no big deal. All right, the rest of the sauce, so easy. Everything is just gonna go into a high-speed blender or a food processor. So I'm gonna add those roasted peppers and tomatoes. You can roast these peppers and tomatoes several days ahead of time. In fact, the Romesco sauce can make it a week ahead of time. It's a great thing to have in the fridge. Now we're going to add toasted pine nuts, some blanched almonds. The blanched almonds kind of give this sauce a creamy texture and the pine nuts add some flavor. We have smoked paprika, one of my favorite spices, and a touch of sugar. That's just gonna balance out all the flavors. Two garlic cloves, sherry vinegar. I love sherry vinegar. It's maybe my favorite vinegar. Can't find it. You can use red wine vinegar. And then we have extra virgin olive oil. Season it with some salt and pepper. Blend it up. I love using a high-speed blender because it makes it super creamy. And let's give it a taste, see if we need any more salt and pepper, maybe a little more vinegar. <laughs> it's got that tartness from the vinegar, but it's sweet and it's smoky. So you can serve this romesco so many different ways. Drizzle it over steak or chicken. It's awesome over white fish. You can serve it on burgers and sandwiches. And it's also awesome as a dip. So try it with potato chips, it'll blow you away. But today we're gonna make some crostini. So I'm gonna like clean this up, grab that toasted bread, and I'll show you how I make these. For the crostini, we've got our toasted bread. What we're gonna do is add that romesco sauce. And then I love to either top it with baby arugula or fresh basil. And we have so much basil in our garden right now. So I'm going for the basil today and I wanna go ahead and show you how this is made. So you spoon that romesco sauce over the crostini and we'll take a few basil leaves. And then finally take that cheese and just shave a few pieces of cheese right on top. There you have it, grilled romesco crostini. All right, I think I gotta give it a taste. Mm. I think my friends are gonna love this, but now it's cocktail time. I'm gonna show you how to make my favorite summer cocktail. I call this my jalapeno berry tequila smash. Made up name, but it's a good cocktail. Here's what we're gonna do. We've got a jalapeno, cut a few slices and pop those into a cocktail shaker. And then a few berries. I like to use blackberries and raspberries. And then an ounce and a half to two ounces of tequila. I love this rosa tequila, it's so pretty. It actually gets its color because it rests in Cabernet barrels, which is kind of cool. Add that to your shaker and we'll give it a gentle muddle. So the tequila is gonna pick up some of the spice from the jalapeno, some of the sweetness from the berries. I'm not going to add any simple syrup or agave nectar, but if you like it sweet, add about a teaspoon. Another option if you're making this for a party, make a big batch and let that sit in the fridge. It's gonna get pretty spicy, <laughs> but it'll taste good. Pour this over a glass of ice and then top it off with some seltzer. And I like to finish it with a spritz of fresh lime juice. You can throw another jalapeno slice on top for garnish, just to let people know what's going on. Maybe throw a blackberry in there. This, my friends, this is summer. Let's try it. Mm. That makes me happy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish up the appetizers. I may or may not finish this drink. My friends are arriving soon. I think it's time to get ready for this party. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've included a link below to the full recipe and stay tuned because next week we are moving on to the main course and it's gonna be delicious. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I wanna give a special thanks to Spark Grills for making this video possible. I'll see you guys next time.